Hi, I'm Krista Namdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making a new pattern. In this six part video series, I'm going to show you how to make some easy mitts, loofahs, and dishcloths using Be So Scrubby Yarn is my brand new number three DK weight textured yarn that is great for scrubbing dishes, cleaning bathrooms and floors, or even exfoliating your skin. You'll also need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and scissors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started making the lattice grid dishcloth. You'll need two balls of Be So Scrubby yarn, size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook, and a yarn needle and scissors. Let's get started. First, we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook. If you prefer a slip knot, square knot, doesn't matter, whatever works for you. Row one starts with chain 28. So you're gonna pull your yarn through the loop on your hook, that's one chain. We're gonna do that a total of 28 times. Okay, next we're going to double crochet in the third chain from our hook. When counting back, you don't wanna count the loop on your hook, that's your working loop, so it'll be one, two, and three. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and then work one double crochet in each chain across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row one. You should have 26 double crochets. Row two begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and we're going to work one double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of the next stitch Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Because we work the, around the post of this stitch, you wanna make sure that you don't work into the top of that same stitch as well. We're skipping the top of the stitch because we work the post. So make sure that you're working into the next stitch to work the double crochet. And we'll work one double crochet into each of the next two. Our repeat for this round is front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we're gonna work around this post, which means we're gonna skip the top of that stitch and then work into each of the next two. So it's front post double crochet, and then one double crochet in each of the next two. And you wanna repeat this all the way across. Row three begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet around the post of the next two stitches, and our repeat for this round is double crochet in the next double crochet, and front post double crochet around the post of the next two double crochets. And you wanna repeat this all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row three. And for rows four through 16, you want to repeat rows two and three six more times than row two once more. For round 17, we're going to pivot our work and work into the end of rows, working two single crochets in each end of row pivot our work and work one single crochet in every chain from the beginning chain, pivot our work, and work two single crochets in each end of row, pivot our work again and work one single crochet in each stitch across row 16, then end with a chain nine and slip stitch to join to create this hanging tab as well. Follow the link in the video description to download this pattern as well as all the other gorgeous patterns in this PDF download and get information on shopping Be So Scrubby Yarn. There is also a link in the video description to watch all of the videos for the Be So Scrubby Crochet Pattern Collection video tutorials in a playlist here on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.